Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, let us see what is the importance of Fourier transform and how we are going to obtain this Fourier transform via Fourier series. So, after completing this lesson, students will be able to represent the Fourier transform expressions from Fourier series. Presently, in this lesson, we are going to discuss what is the advantage of obtaining Fourier transform and what and how it can be obtained using Fourier series. So, coming to the disadvantages that we have uh, got from Fourier series, which I already discussed. So, uh, from Fourier series uh, summary points, we can conclude some disadvantages which are listed uh, as you can see. The Fourier series is limited to periodic signals. As we already mentioned, that Fourier series, whatever the terms, what are the formulas we have discussed earlier. All of them are for period of signals only. So, which will be a major drawback regarding this Fourier series. And as naturally produced signals which need processing will be in the form of a periodic or a non periodic signal. So, this limits the uh, Fourier series usage. So, most of the signals uh, that we need, that we naturally exist or that we need to sim uh, simulate or we need to take as a sample or we need to analyze most of them will be non periodic only so due to that reason what are the analysis that we can do or that we must do on non periodic signals can't be obtained using the fourier series so for that reason we need to go for a fourier transformation so fourier transformation already we have discussed the fourier series so coming to Fourier transformation using a Fourier series will be somewhat simpler as you already know about Fourier series. So coming to this Fourier series, as Fourier transform is used to analyze both periodic and aperiodic, it overcomes the limitation of Fourier series. So due to this it finds its advantage. Okay. And next Fourier transform is a conversion or transformation of periodic or aperiodic which are continuous time domain to a corresponding frequency domain and vice versa. So we are converting a time domain continuous signals to a frequency domain signals which are either periodic or non-periodic. Fourier transform can be developed by finding the Fourier series. So first we need to obtain a Fourier series for a periodic function so that for that one we can obtain a Fourier transform. And one more point here it is the condition of t will be changed to infinity okay you need to remember this condition which is changed to infinity it is used in analysis of linear time invariant systems cryptography signal analysis signal processing astronomy signal analysis and, and so on and also employed in radar to spread spectrum communications so for a wide bandwidth of uh, spectral lines to analyze for those type of signals we need to have something which may be a non-periodic also so this Fourier transform can be helpful in finding out those application oriented areas so right now this is the uh, how we can uh, uh, mention the advantages of Fourier transform we will discuss how Fourier transformation can be obtained using Fourier series in our next lesson. Thank you for watching.